video is about me. It's about my relationship status. You'll see, it's even harder to find. Well, then there must be some magic clue inside these gentle after a long gruesome week of hot, gruesome month of vlogging all December I'm glad that's over we're gonna go back to our normal schedule of releasing stuff soon um I'm gonna tell you what this video is about this video is about me it's about my relationship status <laughs> Because it's been a while since I've updated anybody on really my relationship status and what it is and all that other stuff. I'm going to clear a bunch of rumors. I'm going to explain the top five reasons why I think I'm still single. And I'm just going to wrap it up there. So we're going to have a good time. Okay. I'm going to provide a disclaimer. Disclaimer, this is not to say that I am against relationships at all because I'm not. Um, this is more of like explaining to you why I'm, why I feel like I'm still single and things of that nature. It's not to demean, it's not to degrade anybody else's relationship. However, I will be using some real life examples of what I've actually observed in my almost a deck almost nearly two decades of seeing relationships gone wrong and some that have gone really good so um again it's not to demean it's not to diss anybody's relationship it's just to explain how i feel and how why, why i feel like i'm not single so without further ado let's get started okay um i'm gonna go in reverse order going from number five all the way to my number one top reason okay number five the first reason why I feel I am still single, um, I feel like I'm still single because I have a very, very rigid routine. And when I mean rigid, I mean every semester I've been at Michigan State, I have been very, very busy with all sorts of stuff. It ranges from producing stuff for YouTube to just doing other stuff that I feel is comfortable for myself. For example, this semester, I'm taking on a lot more responsibilities than I did in any other semester at Michigan State. I am executive producer for Focal Point News this semester. The second thing, I am head editor of the Beaumont Bulletin, which is um, part of the MSU Telecasters Club. I just recently got a job at the State News as the audience engagement editor. Number four, I produce for this, for this channel that you are watching. Let's see, what else? I'm part of the Five Sigma Pi National Honor Fraternity, best fraternity ever. I, per, I stream on my personal Twitch channel. I also produce for Another Day in MSU Gaming, which is the Twitch channel that I do with my Marlin, myself, and my friend Essence. And I think I counted almost 10 things in this, in this video and constantly counting. Like, I'm always doing something. I never have time to go out and just go to actually go out to a bar or to a club or just anywhere in general and just meet someone new. I hang around the same people, no offense, but I hang around the same people. I hang around my family. I talk to my family a lot. Um, I talk to the same students that I worked with for the past two years, the same professors, the same people. I, 
it's just a routine that just goes in the head over and over and over again. But it never crossed my mind to like actually just go out and meet somebody. And I think that prevents me from finding that significant other. Number four. I think number four would have to be expectations. Now, in when you're looking for a significant other, people have their expectations very high. They look for a certain age. They look for a certain hair color. I feel like I feel like with a lot of the women in my generation, I feel like they look for the assets of a person rather than their personality, what they believe in, and what they what they do. Me, I'm not ashamed to say that I'm skinny. I've been skinny since elementary school. I'm still the same, like. I gained weight here while I was in Michigan State. I'm 134. I've been that for the past four years. Hard to believe, but I'm still 134.7. I feel like a lot of women in my generation, they do have a lot of expectations for what they want in a guy. And me, I don't have expectations in a girl. Or the women, in their cases, be like, is this the guy I'm looking for? Does he have a lot of swag? Does he have a lot of does he have a lot of clothes in the closet? Does he have a lot of cash in his bank account? Um, but I feel like the expectations for in this generation are too high. Yes, I have a Tinder account. Yes, I have a Bumble account. I don't get no likes or no matches, but that's just me. Number three is I think number three is self-doubt. Uh, now I'm very guilty of this because I feel like if someone does talk to me, will they actually like me for who I am? Am I good enough for the person? Do I feel like I'm a know-it-all? All of those questions, they come to mind. Like It's like having the angel on one shoulder saying, go for it, and you have a person influencing you not to do, not to go and take the chance whatsoever. Um, I think with me, I'm just more so scared of rejection because I've been rejected from so much in school. I've been rejected from clubs, different orgs in high school, and I didn't even bother to join any sports teams because I was, I felt like I would be hazed. I, I, I made my, I made it my vision and I made it my mission to not be that way this year. I made it my mission to be more outgoing to meet more people that are outside of my friend group, outside of this apartment, outside of my friends. I, I want to meet some people that are new. Reason number two, we're getting closer to that number one reason why I'm still single. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people, they're desperate. I've now, on this platform, on Tinder, on Bumble, I've ran into a lot of people who doesn't look really for a relationship. They just look for, they just look for sex. Let's just be honest here, but that's not the purpose of the platform. The platform is to meet new people and if you like the person, you like the person. If you don't, you just move on. You don't talk to them no more. That's how, that's how, that's how Tinder works. That's how Bumble, that's how any dating site works. I'm not that kind of individual who just looks for sex on Tinder. I, I, I wanna look for another person that's has the same morals, who has the same, um, who, who's, who will love me unconditionally? I have an outspoken personality. I just don't, I use it strategically when I need to. Every time I stepped foot into any school, except for Michigan State, any time I stepped into any school, I literally have to process my brain for the words I want to use against them because most of them don't understand what I say because I use big words back then. I get turned off by the desperation of someone just looking for either a one night stand or someone just looking just to have sex with someone and that that be it. There's like a small one percent of on Tinder that look that's looking for a genuine relationship, and I'm part of that one percent. And now for the number one reason, drum roll please. The number one the number one reason why I'm still single is lack of experience. Now. I I believe that you have to have some experience before you go into a relationship. Me, I am, have been single for all my life since I've been born. I don't really count the middle school relationship I've, I've been in because it only lasted a few days and then we broke up. It did, this relationship didn't even last 48 hours. It was just a quick, yes, we're dating, and then no, we're not dating anymore. 
That, that, that's how it was, basically. Um, but I feel like a lot of that comes from not having the experience of having the significant other beforehand. I've seen a lot of relationships. I've seen toxic relationships. I've seen, now I've seen very, very, very good, good relationships. And for those relationships, I commend you guys. You guys do, you guys do a great job in the relationships. I'm proud of y'all. I've seen toxic relationships where one, one or both partners are no, they're not, they hate each other or they're, they're toxic. One of them is toxic and it makes the whole relationship not work. I've seen that relationship type of relationship so many times. I can't count off my fingers in my past 10 years. I've seen that type of relationship and it literally pisses me off because if you know if you know that the person is not right for you, why are you still dating them? That's the one question that, that's the one thing that pisses me off. You know that you're in a toxic relationship. Why are you still in it if you know it's toxic? I, and, and a lot of that, and a lot of toxic relationships form because either A, they've been in relationships and they've done the same thing and it's not working or they have none at all. Personally, I have, and I've seen the type of relationships where it's open and, love triangles and love squares tend to form. In case you don't know what those are, love triangles are as a relationship between three people, square. A square is a relationship between four people. I've seen people who, um, who in a relationship t changed their whole demeanor based off of this, that, and the other. I've seen so many relationships. I've seen so many of them. And I have, and I feel like I have the experience because I'm always watching these relationships I think I know what not to do in a relationship, but I've never tested them out myself because I've never had a significant other. My sister, um, I'm not trying to shout you out anything, but my sister, she's had more experience and experience than I ever did. Starting in high school, starting, she started dating in high school. I'm not sure if my little sister does it. And my mom, of course, you know, we all know that she's been in a relationship before. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here sitting in this chair. <laughs> it's, this is not to just demean all those relationships. I'm actually proud of people who get in relationships and they last a long time. I'm actually really proud of that. But this is just experience wise. I just don't think I have enough experience to actually date. I've seen so much through these glasses to know excuse me, to know what not to do in a relationship and what to do in a relationship. I found, over my course of observation, I found out that relationships are 50-50. You get in a relationship, what you put, you get in a relationship, what you put in. If you put good things in a relationship, good things to come back to the relationship most of the time. Hence, most of the time, they will come back to you. And those are the top five reasons why I'm still single. Now, I'm not saying that I, that I won't be single forever, because I know that's not true. I'm pretty sure that that perfect person, that somebody that I've been waiting for, will come to me, and God will and God will send them to me. I have the right qualities in, a, in what a, in what a woman is looking for. I'm just saying. I tell bad jokes, <laughs> and Marlon, in essence, can clarify that for you. Um, I tell bad puns. I'm very energetic and enthusiastic, and I'm just, I'm just I'm just hype. I'm just me. I'm, I'm just wild. Last year I wasn't as wild, but this year I, I plan to be more wild in a good in a good way. And now to clarify that one lingering myth that I'm going to bust right now because I've heard it so many times. No, the answer is N-O. No. Me and Marlon, most of you know her as Erin, but she goes by Marlon on this channel. We are not dating at all. We our friends we've been friends since high school since we've both been in this been in the msu summer program together for the past three weeks i met her based off of a funny game of taboo and i also met ridiculous l and g money you know later on down the lines uh, later on down the lines i met those two actually i met marlon and ridiculous l during that same program and then i met g money probably about uh, probably about a um, month or so later so People have, I don't know what kind of anomalies I give off, I guess, to see like, are we dating or not? But we're not dating at all. If, I don't, I don't even know if Marlon's seeing somebody or if she's talking to some guy 
I think everyone in my I think every one of my friends have experienced some type of relationship and I'm the only person who hasn't. All my friends, they've been in a relationship and they had that experience one time or another before they came in contact with me. They had a relationship of some sort of hand. I'm the only person that hasn't. It does suck that I don't have experience with relationships, but I'm open to learn and continue to learn. Also, the middle school chronicles. That is going to be in the works next week and our first video will be really published by the end of the month. We decided to release it on a um, monthly basis or a twice a month basis because our schedules are gonna be hella busy. I think that's all I wanted to cover in this video. If I miss anything, it'll be in the next video. So um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys like this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment your advice for someone who's really new to relationships, who's never been in a relationship. What's your advice? We want to, I want to know for myself because I might use some of your advice and I might apply it to my own knowledge, to my own self. So until next time, I'm Jules. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And we shall see you guys in the next video. Happy what? What's up? Happy holidays! Guys, we have vlogs on top of vlogs coming up, and we can't wait for y'all to see them. We can't wait. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like our videos, hit that bell for the notification. And if you want to see more videos from Squad Million, remember to hit up here to see the rest of them. Yeah, you already know what to do, bro. And also remember... Eat more bread! That's not it! But do not forget to follow us on IG. Oh yeah, and Twitter because we do got a Twitter and TikTok. And TikTok. <laughs> Squad. And hopefully sooner or later we will come with a Snapchat. Oh, sure. so oh, yeah. yeah. So you know, be sure to follow it at Squamilia. Well, some of them I think it's Squamilia One. And uh, all the links will be in the description below. Yes. So with all due respect, from the bottom of our hearts, we yes. would like to wish you a happy Squamilia Mixed Face.